Well, hello, kindred spirits. You came back. I'm so glad that you're here. Today at about five o'clock, our children and a widowed neighbor, plus our children's significant others and a couple of other friends will be joining us for Sunday dinner. And we do this every Sunday. We gather together and just share a meal. It's not fancy. It's just a good time to get together again with family. And today we'll be making a big roast and potatoes and homemade bread. And so I thought that you would enjoy seeing the process of that bread and hearing all of those delicious sounds of that bread being made. To me, kitchen sounds are very, very comforting. Just uh, the sound of maybe a um, something cooking on the stove and a, a wooden wooden spatula kind of banging on the side of a skillet you know just to get the sauce off and before they lay it down on a on a spoon rest that's just a, the sounds of comfort to me i just love that and so i i think that y'all will enjoy that too hearing that so in a few minutes i'm going to show you what we're going to do and we're going to be making about seven loaves because my recipe makes a lot and i want everybody to be able to take some home with them too but also i wanted to tell you how much i appreciate you giving this channel a chance it means so much to me that so many of you have been so sweet and kind in the comments section and how many of you have taken a chance and hitting that subscribe button that's a big deal and that really means a lot to me so thank you now also wanted to address the video the ads in the middle of the videos i am so very sorry about that there's nothing i can do about it my channel is not monetized yet and so i don't have a whole lot of control over what youtube does on my channel at this point from what I've read though, after I have my 4,000 watch hours and I am monetized, I will be able to, to place the ads somewhere in the video or maybe just turn them off completely. So we'll look at and that and investigate it when that time comes. But I just wanna let you know that I'm, I can't do anything about it and I'm so sorry, but hang on, cause we're almost there. We're at 2,500 watch hours right now and I have y'all to thank for that too, so. I really appreciate you. Now, this isn't really a how-to video. However, I will leave the bread recipe in the description box if anybody's interested. This is more of just a, a soothing sounds video, and you'll be hearing kitchen noises, and then I'll also do a voiceover and tell you what I'm doing throughout the process just in case someone is interested in learning how to bake bread themselves because it is so much fun, so delicious, and very rewarding. Okay, so let's turn this camera around and get it started. In this recipe, I'm using six cups of very warm water and I'm pouring that all into my Bosch kitchen mixer. And I'm adding to that two thirds of a cup of olive oil. And this olive oil bottle is a slow pour. So it'll take just a few minutes to get it all in there. This olive oil came from Costco and it has a really nice flavor. Now I'm gonna add two thirds of a cup of honey. And this is a little trick that I want you to, to take note of. You'll notice that I added the olive oil to the measuring cup first and then I added the honey. The reason why you want to do that is because honey is very, very sticky and having the measuring cup already greased up with a little bit of olive oil helps that honey just slip out of there. It makes it much easier to get out. Then you're going to add two tablespoons of sea salt. Now, I didn't have sea salt, so I had to use kosher salt, but that's okay.
And the last thing that I'm adding are three tablespoons of yeast. We bake a lot of bread around here, so I buy it in bulk. It's stored in little glass jars. It's much easier to get out of those glass jars than it is out of that yeast container. Now I'm going to start adding in the first part of my flour. So after I have all of the wet ingredients plus the salt and the yeast, I'm going to add in eight cups of flour. And I'm using a mixture of freshly milled wheat berries and store-bought bread flour. I like the combination of the two. Freshly ground wheat berries makes a wonderful bread. However, it's very dense and it also takes a very long time to rise. So I prefer the way it tastes and the texture if it has a little bit of store-bought wheat flour mixed in. Now after everything has been mixed together well, we're going to let that first mixture sit for about five minutes until it's bubbly. And meanwhile, I'm going to get my bread pans ready. And I'm using a bread pan that is waffled. And it gives such a nice texture to the bread, first of all. But second of all, it doesn't stick nearly as bad to a waffled pan as it does a regular smooth sided pan. I still spray it with a little bit of Baker's Joy just to be sure. And Baker's Joy is um, a grease, a, a non-stick spray, but it also has a little bit of flour mixed in with it. So it's great for people who bake a lot. And after I have all of my pans greased up and ready to go, I'm gonna add the remaining flour one cup at a time into my mixer. And this recipe has a total of 17 cups of flour. So I told you that's a lot of flour. <laughs> but we do have seven loaves, so we have a lot of bread to eat and to give away. can see that my mixer is slowing down with all of that extra flour in there. And I'm going to turn it off here and feel of the texture of the bread and that's kind of an indication that it's ready to let knead. Now after I have added all of my flour, I turn the mixture back on and let it mix or knead for five more minutes. And that's going to develop all of the gluten in the wheat and therefore it's going to give it a better rise. Now that our bread has been mixing for about five minutes, you can see how nice it looks and how thick it is. And we are going to put it in our pans that are already sprayed and ready. And what I like to do is put a little bit of olive oil on my hands so that the bread dough won't stick. And then I'm going to Take my time getting it off of the mixer and then out of the bowl here. This bread makes a great toast in the mornings. It makes an excellent sandwich bread. There's nothing better in the summertime than to go outside and pluck a fresh tomato from your garden and go in the house and make yourself a tomato sandwich out of freshly baked bread and a tomato that you grew, little Duke's mayonnaise. Mm-mm. You've got a feast. Now I'm putting a little bit more olive oil on my hands so that I can mix the dough around and knead it just a little bit more. That's what I love about my Bosch mixer. I don't have to knead all of that bread by hand anymore. That is a job, let me tell you. And my bread has come out so much better since I bought that machine. Now a long time ago, I used to bake bread and sell it at the farmer's market. love that big old 
hunk of dough. If you have little kids, they love to get in the kitchen with you and help you. They can play with the dough. You can always give them their own little hunk to shape into a loaf. And you can see it's real easy to shape the loaves. I don't measure each one anymore. Now, I used to when I, when I sold it at the farmer's market. But since I'm just baking this for home use, I don't measure it out anymore. But I'm just breaking off hunks that are about the same in size. And then I'm patting it underneath in a little circle and then shaping it into an oval and then sticking it into my bread pans. And there's a, a heavenly smell associated with just baking bread in its raw, kneading dead in its raw, <laughs> I'll get it out in a minute guys, kneading bread in its raw state, it's in the dough state, it smells wonderful. But then a house that has bread that's freshly been baked in the oven, it is just like no other. And I hope that my children carry that fragrance with them the rest of their lives and it reminds them of, of being young and being at home and, and just being loved. We've got two more here and you can see we just made it. Now sometimes I will put a little bit of cinnamon and sugar on top of these loaves too and make them sweet. And what we have to do now is we have to set these aside and cover them up until they rise. And I will tell you that wheat bread takes a lot longer to rise than just white bread. So keep that in mind if you're ever making it yourself. After your bread has risen, you're going to bake it in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. <laughs> and then plop it out on your countertop to let it cool. Don't let it go rolling like mine did. I like to use an electric knife to cut my bread. That way you're not tearing at it with a regular knife. It seems that when you have to use a sawing motion with a regular knife, you can squish your bread. So I like to use an electric knife. This is delicious with some butter and some jam, and it's going to go perfectly with our roast beef and baked potatoes tonight. Thank you so much for watching my kindred spirits. Again, I'll leave the recipe in the description below. Y'all sleep tight.